everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have another Crown Tundra video for you, and today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to split Calyrex from whichever horse legendary Pokemon you chose. It's a very, very easy way to split Calyrex uh, from either Spectrier or Glacetrier. All you have to do is just go into your bag, you go into the key item slot, and you'll pick the Reigns of Unity item. You then hit use this item, and then you'll pick Calyrex. If Calyrex is fused, it will unfuse Calyrex and Glacetrier in my case, uh, or Spectrier, depending on whichever uh, horse legendary you chose, like I said. So you'll get this text box pop up that says Calyrex transformed, and when you split Calyrex, it will forget the signature move of the fused form. It can only have the signature move when it is fused uh, with the horse legendary. So, that is how you split, and then in order to reassemble, you again just use the item, uh, you'll pick Calyrex, and then you'll pick whichever horse Pokemon. You can't fuse it with uh, anything else, it can only be fused with the, the horse legendary, so picking Calyrex with Urshifu there says that it can't do anything, so we pick Calyrex, we pick Glacetrier, um, and then they will be uh, fused again, and then it will relearn the, uh, the signature move uh, automatically, when it uh, is fused, if it has an available move slot. Uh, if it doesn't have an available move slot, it will just ask you to overwrite one of its current moves. And that's how you get the signature move back. You don't have to worry about going to a Pokemon Center. Now, something that is very interesting to keep in mind. So we can see right here that while Calyrex is fused, um, we can see the, uh, the IVs are right there above me. So it's got uh, perfect attack, special defense, and speed. And then because I don't remember my natures off the top of my head, we can see that this Calyrex has a timid nature while it is fused uh, with Glacetrier. So now what I'm going to do... Uh, oh, also another thing to, uh, to just highlight is uh, this has a, a Dynamax level of 1. So we're just going to take a, a look at the stats once we unfuse. Uh, so we're going to split Calyrex back into uh, Calyrex and Glacetrier. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and check the summary of Calyrex. So you can see that Calyrex has the same nature and the same um, IV or the same uh, EVs, sorry. No, IVs. IVs. The same IVs. Uh, and you can see that the Dynamax level is 1. Now if I go down to Glacetrier, and I'm actually just going to move them side by side so it's a little bit easier. Uh, you can see that Glacetrier has um, its own nature, its own IVs. Uh, and I gave this one 10 Dynamax candies just to uh, very clearly show the difference between um, Calyrex and Glacetrier. So the cool thing is that Glacetrier keeps this, uh, its Dynamax level and everything about it when it's uh, split. So you don't have to worry about having to like re-EV train it uh, or re-give it Dynamax candy if you split it off and you want to just use it as its, uh, its own Pokemon. But uh, the, the very interesting thing is uh, because when you catch Calyrex in the, count, in the Crown Tundra, um, Calyrex and the Chosen Horse are fused. So in order to check the IVs uh, of, the, uh, of the, the Glacetrier or the Spectrier, you will have to unfuse it uh, and then check the natures. So for example, if you're wanting to get one of these... Um, one of these uh, IVs as uh, no good, specifically. Uh, like if you want to get a no good Glacetrier uh, for speed to use in Trick Room, you'll have to catch the, Cal the fused Calyrex, split it, and then check the IVs. But it's a very, very easy process. Uh, it's it's kind of nice that you have this item on you all the time. Uh, it's kind of like the DNA Splicers um, to, uh, you know, to fuse, uh, Kyurem with either Zekrom or Reshiram. So it's kind of nice that, uh, you don't have to, like, go to a specific location. You can just have this item on you all the time, and then you'll be good to go. But yeah, that's it. That's gonna do it for this quick little video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really hope that you all have been enjoying the Crown Tundra, and I really hope this video was helpful. Be sure to leave it a like down below, and drop something down in the comments and let me know how you've been enjoying the Crown Tundra. Also, feel free to come by and check us out for a live stream. We have been doing a lot of Crown Tundra content on our live streams. Uh, we've been doing lots of Dynamax adventures, uh, working on completing the Pokedex, going after the Regis, because uh, the new Regis can be shiny hunted, which is really, really cool. Uh, the Twitch link will be in the description down below. There will also be a, uh, some text popping up on the screen here in a moment uh, with our Twitch link. Again, feel free to come by and hang out. Join us for a live stream if you like. We stream Monday through Thursdays in the evenings, sometimes with some extra streams on the weekend. But again, that will do it for this video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.